good morning dear students welcome to class 9 my name is vijay and today we are going to start introduction to object oriented programming concepts now in the previous class we have talked about oop or as we called it oops right the full form of oops is object oriented programming okay object oriented programming system so let's talk about this object oriented programming in a much detailed manner in this chapter now students you must have heard of people talking about an app or an application right an app or an application or a program okay but what does this app or an application really mean what is an app what is an app right in simple words an application allows us to perform a set of specific task to solve a particular problem computer students as you know it is a problem solving machine okay and it uses these applications to solve your particular problem for example if i talk about the calculator a calculator inside a computer is an application or a software which is used to solve your mathematical problems you do calculations with it right so calculator is an app or a application that we use to solve a specific task that is the calculation okay now computer applications how are they written computer applications are written using the block of codes which are known as programs okay look at this block of code it is a program so all these applications inside the computer are nothing but the block of codes only okay next now creating a computer program can be like creating a recipe for any dish in your kitchens you create many dishes right you uh, at least you might have tried it so for creating any dish we require two things what are the two things we require set of instructions and we require ingredients we require set of instructions and ingredients okay now we also require three things how what to do how to do and when to do what to do how to do and so in a computer also we need to provide the computer with a set of instructions and ingredients okay which we will call as data now why do we do it we all we do all these things to get the desired output okay now look at this example of a dish in this figure okay this figure demonstrate the recipe to make a tomato pasta okay now look at look at it carefully there are step wise instructions see these are the instructions which are step wise important thing to note is that these instructions are step wise and then you have a list of ingredients which you require to create this tomato pasta so there are two important things required step by step instructions step by step instructions and list of ingredients that we need to provide to create any dish in the same manner in the computer also we need to require we need to provide the computer with a set of instructions and data on which these instructions will uh, be operated okay next now how does this computer exactly solve the problem let's take a look at it well just like our recipe okay with the two things set of instructions and ingredients what is the computer going to do the computer uses the instructions the computer uses the instructions and the data remember we call those ingredients as data in computer okay now it uses instructions and data to solve the problem okay now when both these things are put together inside the computer we call it a 
computer program what are the two things set of instructions oh, sorry set of set sorry set of instructions and data these are the two important things that we require to create a computer program okay now these programs are written in a step by step manner in a step by step manner these instructions are provided to the computer in a step by step manner so that the computer can follow these instructions step wise to get the desired output getting the output is our final goal okay so we require two things set step by step instructions and we require the data okay now the computer executes these instructions in the sequence in which they occur in the program one after the other okay in a program in any program the data is always oh sorry the data is always processed as per the set of instructions okay now these instructions can look like print your name on the screen calculate the area of a circle compute the simple interest show your account balance okay now what will the data look like okay the data in case of print your name on the screen the your name your name is the data in case of print the radius of a circle oh sorry the print area of a circle what is the data the data is the radius of the circle right you require radius of the circle as data to compute the area of a circle in case of calculating the simple interest the amount the rate and the time are the data aspects okay so in any computer program we require step by step instructions and the data now who is a computer programmer the person who writes a computer program is called as a computer program anybody who creates a program is called as a computer programmer okay now what is a programming language a programming language is a set of commands and syntax used to create a computer program to create any pro computer program we require set of uh, we set of commands and the syntax we need to understand the syntax syntax means the rules of that particular language okay now in the next module we will again take a brief look at evolution of programming languages okay how did these programming languages evolve